Learning a Hello again, and welcome to Section 2 Biology, Genetic Technologies. Here are the learning objectives. Make sure to spend some time during your study going over them. Molecular cloning allows for the creation of multiple copies of genes, expression of genes, and study of specific genes. To get the DNA fragment into a bacterial cell in a form that will be copied or expressed, the fragment is first inserted into a plasmid. A plasmid, also called a vector in this context, is a small circular DNA molecule that replicates independently of the chromosomal DNA in bacteria. In cloning, the plasmid molecules can be used to provide a vehicle in which to insert a desired DNA fragment. Modified plasmids are usually reintroduced into a bacterial host for replication. As the bacteria divide, they copy their own DNA, including the plasmids. The inserted DNA fragment is copied along with the rest of the bacterial DNA. In a bacterial cell, the fragment of DNA from the human genome, or another organism, that is being studied, is referred to as foreign DNA to differentiate it from the DNA of the bacterium, the host DNA. Reproductive cloning is a method used to make a clone, or an identical copy of an entire multicellular organism. Most multicellular organisms undergo reproduction by sexual means, which involves the contribution of DNA from two individuals, parents, making it impossible to generate an identical copy, or a clone of either parent. Recent advances in biotechnology have made it possible to reproductively clone mammals in the laboratory. Dolly the sheep was the first agricultural animal to be cloned. To create Dolly, the nucleus was removed from a donor egg cell. The enucleated egg was placed next to the other cell, then they were shocked to fuse. They were shocked again to start division. The cells were allowed to divide for several days until an early embryonic stage was reached, before being implanted in a surrogate mother. Stem cells are germline cells that have the capacity to give rise to any mammalian cells. Stem cells generally exist during embryonic development. Embryonic stem cells, however, do persist during adulthood. For example, stem cells in the bone marrow constantly give rise to immune cells, which make up the immune system and help protect against pathogens. Stem cells have potential to be used as medical treatments. For example, patients with HIV have a low immune count stem cells can be used to reverse this. In fact, the first ever person to be cured from HIV was treated partially with stem cell therapy obtained from donor bone marrow cells. Through selective breeding, humans have domesticated animals, plants, and fungi, but even this diversity is suffering losses because of market forces and increasing globalism in human agriculture and migration. For example, international seed companies produce only a very few varieties of a given crop and provide incentives around the world for farmers to buy these few varieties while abandoning their traditional varieties, which are far more diverse. The human population depends on crop diversity directly as a stable food source, and its decline is troubling to biologists and agricultural scientists. Thank you. Next video, Variation.